Hey everyone, Tracy Wisnowski here of DustinandTracy.com and in today's video I want to show you how you can add clickable annotations to your YouTube videos. Now this is a really powerful feature that YouTube added because now it allows you to actually drive traffic outside of YouTube which they didn't allow in the past. And so if you own your own domain and you host it yourself, you're now able to drive traffic to pretty much wherever you want people to go. Um, of course, as long as you're staying within YouTube's guidelines and their rules, but they're pretty flexible. So if you're promoting something, you're able to drive that traffic there. Uh, so basically what you're looking at right now is an example of what an annotation looks like once you've added it to your video. So you can see right here, this is one of our clickable annotations. I'll just back up a little so you can see um, how it just pops up on the screen. And then so when people see this while they're watching your video, if they're ready to get started or to take action or you want them to do something in that moment on your video, if they click that, it's going to bring them to whatever page it is that you want to direct them to. So this is a really powerful feature to help get some conversions in on your videos as opposed to uh, just putting your link below the video. Because what I want to show you, and this is something we learned actually last November is that YouTube started adding this feature where once people get to the end of your video, if you watch down in the com right near the comment section, the info uh, description box below the video, watch what happens when people get to the end of your video. Right now you can see that there is a link, there was a link right below, but as soon as we got to the end of the video, it immediately switches to the share tab. And so if your call to action in your video is telling people to click the link below, but then if they wait until the end of the video, they're not going to see that link below anymore unless they specifically go back and click the about tab. And so you can see that can lead to a huge decrease in your lead flow just because people aren't seeing your link anymore. So annotations are absolutely crucial if you want to start getting some higher conversions from your videos. So, like I said, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you do have your own domain and your own hosting for that domain. If you, um, I actually have a clickable annotation pop up on this video where you can go purchase your domain, go purchase your hosting at a really great rate. Um, and if you purchase through us, then get in touch with me and I have some training on how to get that domain set up and how to get that hosting set up for you so that you'll be able to just go ahead and get this process started. Once you've bought the domain and hosted it on your own hosting, the next thing that you need to do is make sure that your YouTube account is verified and in good standing. So first, to make sure it's verified, all you need to do is go to youtube.com front slash verify. And you need to make sure that you're already logged into your YouTube account. So I'm assuming at this point, if you're watching this video, you already have a YouTube channel created, you already have some content on it, and you're looking to just beef it up and start adding some extra features. So log into your YouTube account and go to youtube.com front slash verify. If your account is already verified, it'll show a message like ours does here. And in that point, you're all set and you can just click out of that tab. Um, if yours doesn't say verified, it'll simply just tell you to click verify. It'll most likely ask you for your phone number so they can send you a verification code to make sure you're human. Send that back to them and then you'll be verified and good to go. Once you've verified your account, the next thing that you need to do is make sure you're in good standing. And so to see if you are in good standing, all you need to do is go to youtube.com front slash features and that will give you all that information in the box like this. And so as long as your uh, three, three account status guidelines show good standing here, then you will be allowed to do external annotations. And they'll actually show the green light pretty much down here. And this lets you know that you're going to be able to add them. If for some reason you show good standing after verifying, but your external annotations aren't green yet, then you might just need to log out, log back in, refresh the page, and usually that solves the problem. So now we've verified and we've made sure we're in good standing. The next thing you need to do is with the domain that you bought and the hosting that you got, you need to now add that to Google's Webmaster Tools. And this is basically Google's way of making sure that you do in fact own that domain, that you're associating that domain with your brand you know, they really want to keep the integrity of their sites. And so they want to make sure that 
whatever it is that you're promoting on your YouTube channel, because you can only have one domain, um, they want to make sure that that's associated with you. So to do that, all you need to do is you're just going to go to google.com front slash webmasters. And once you're there, it's either going to ask you to create an account or to log in. And this is going to be the same Gmail address that you're using for your YouTube account. So whatever screen you're seeing, just use that Gmail account associated with YouTube to log in or create the webmasters account. And then it's going to bring you to the webmaster tools page. And to get to this page from that point on, you just have to go to google.com front slash webmasters front slash tools. And that will bring you to a page that looks like this, except at this point, yours probably doesn't show any websites yet. And so what you need to do is simply scroll over where it says add a site. And since we already have a site associated with our YouTube account, I'm just going to do a site for an example so you can see how to get that site verified at Webmaster Tools. Um, just to give you an example of how it works. So what you want to do is put in the site that you just purchased the domain on. And then you're going to click continue. And what's going to happen is it's going to pull up that site that you just added and it's going to ask you to now verify. And they give you some options. If you have access to the HTML code for that website, then you can follow these instructions here and they show you uh, an example of how to do that. Um, the way that we do it is we actually click alternative met uh, al alternate methods and then we choose HTML file upload. And because you got hosting, this is a really simple process to just upload this file and verify it that way. It's the fastest way that we know to do it, but you're more than welcome to do it any of these other ways. I mean, you can also click domain name provider and you can choose wherever you bought your domain name and log in that way as well. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna click on HTML upload it's going to have you download the file and you're going to see when well, you're going to be looking for this file right here, this name in your downloads. And so what you need to do now is go into your cPanel for the site you that the site that you created and you're going to upload that file just directly onto that site. So I'm going to go into our cPanel, click login. And if you got it through the provider that we recommended in this video, then yours will look just like this. And you're going to scroll down until you see File Manager. Click on that. And then you're going to look for your site. If you only have one site, it'll just be under Public HTML, and that's where you'll upload the file. But in our case, we have multiple sites, so we're going to upload it directly under the domain that we just added. And to do it, all you need to do is click Upload. You choose your file. Going to head over to our Downloads. And we're looking for that crazy Google uh, code that they sent us. All right. So it's going to be this last one. Once you find that file in your download, you're just going to simply click open and you're going to see that it is complete. So once you see that it's complete, you are good to go on that. All you need to do is click back to home and you're back in your file manager. So now we want to go make sure that that file got uploaded and that they can verify it now. So we're going to head back over to Webmaster Tools and we're going to, you can see if it's confirmed by clicking here. We'll open it in a new tab. Okay, so this is the file that they wanted us to upload. You can now see it here. And then you just want to go back to Webmaster Tools and click Verify. And you'll see a congratulations method if it verified successfully. It might take a few tries if this is your first time doing it, but if you just follow step by step, it's pretty easy and it shouldn't take you too long to get through that step. So then we're going to click Continue. And so now at this point, we have, you have uh, purchased your domain, you've gotten your hosting, you've, you've made sure that your YouTube account is verified and in good standing, and you've added your new domain to 
the webmaster tools. At that point, you are actually ready to now associate that website with YouTube. And to do that, you're going to head over to your YouTube account and you're going to go to youtube.com front slash advanced underscore settings. And that'll bring you to your advanced tab in YouTube. And if you scroll down, you're actually going to see um, a section for the associated website. As you can see, ours is already added in here. You're going to have a little green thing that says success if you've added it in and it's been successful. Uh, yours, you're going to want to type in. It's going to be a blank box. You're just going to put in the website you want to associate. It's going to ask you to verify it, to add it, and then you're going to be done. It's going to give you a confirmation mes message that that's now your associated site and you're good to go. And with anything, if for some reason it doesn't show right away, just refresh your page and that almost always solves that problem. So now we have to site associate. In order to create the actual clickable annotations, we now need to go to a video where we want to add those annotations in. So what we're going to do is head over to our video manager. And we're going to, let's just choose a video that was just created. We're going to click the pull down menu where the edit tab is, click annotations. And now at this point, um, you're most likely going to have a box up here that tells you to enable external annotations. You're going to see it here. I'll have it pop up on the screen what the image looks like so you can see what yours should look like. And you're simply just going to click enable on that button when you see it. But once you've got it enabled, all you need to do is click annotation. You can choose any of these that you want. So let's just say um, that we want to do the note feature. And what I'm going to do is just go to the end of the video so I can add it in there. And uh, you're going to just put in whatever your call to action is. So if you're promoting a product, you know, then you would have that as your call to action. If you're asking people to subscribe or to, you know, check out your blog or to go to your fan page, whatever it is, you're going to put that in this box. So for ours, I'm just going to say, um, check out our blog to learn more about us and to learn tips to build your business online. And then, so let's just move that. You can move this anywhere you want in your video. So now we'll see it here. You can stretch it around, make the font bigger, um, add whatever you want. You can change the background colors, the font color. Once you have something that you like, you know, that stands out, all you need to do at that point is click link right here. And you're going to see there's lots of calls to actions that you can have on YouTube. You can send them to another video. You can send them to a playlist, channel, a Google Plus page, which is also a really cool feature because then you can be driving traffic to your social circles as well. So if you're not really promoting something in your video, if it's just a video where you're giving some value and you just want to connect with people, that's going to be a great option for you to use. But for us, we're going to go down and choose associated website. And we're going to use the domain that you just associated. So in this case, ours is attached to DustinTracy.com. And what you're going to see is until you finish the website, it's going to say invalid. But once you finish the website and it's the one you associated, you'll get the green light to go. And you can just click preview link. And it'll show you where your traffic's now being sent to. So you're able to make sure that your link is working and everything's good to go. And one of the coolest features of the associated website is that you can you can do any extension of the website. So let's say that we're promoting something like our MLSP program, we could put MLSP at the end, do a front slash MLSP and have that specific URL redirect to another offer. So you don't necessarily have to have everything on your blog or your main page, you can do redirects from that domain and send people to that kind of traffic to those kind of sites as well. So this is totally up to you. It's, uh, it's totally flexible. There's so much you can do with it. Um, get creative, have fun. If you need help with redirecting and, and sending traffic to other places using that one domain, again, get in touch with us. That's 
something that we specialize in helping people with and it's really simple to do. And so that ends my tutorial on creating external annotations for YouTube. I highly suggest you take action on that now. Really see that bump in your conversions, your lead flow for your business. And if you found value in this video, please make sure to like, comment, and share below. And I will see you on the next tutorial.